Hi, I'm Erin Brown with Homeschool Connections, and we're here today with Macbeth Durham. How are you, Macbeth? I'm well, thank you, Erin. It's great to be here. It's great to be here because we're going to talk about your courses and a little bit about you. Let's start with your courses. Tell me what you teach here. Sure. I teach courses uh, on, let's see, biology and earth sciences to both middle school students and to high school students. Mostly yes, and you, have, <laughs> and, and you have quite a few courses, right? I do have quite a few courses. I think, um, I think I'm pushing 10, maybe a few more than 10 right now. Yeah. Well, tell me about those middle school courses, because I know you have some super high interest, amazing courses for middle school students. Tell me about those. I do. One of the things I really enjoy uh, about teaching middle school is the flexibility, you know, because there are so many different variations on curriculum um, and requirements vary greatly. So what I'd like to do is to teach really specific courses, courses about dogs, courses about birds, uh, ornithology, things like that, that are of particular interest to students and let them sort of dip their feet into the biological sciences using a topic that is of particular interest to them. And we these cover everything, you know, the, the uh, physical, the, uh, you know, the, the internal organs and things like that. So, and it's a back door into biology in general, right? You cover, if I understand correctly with these courses, the students cover biology in general and all of the ins and outs of biology, but then specifically this high interest animal or bird or birds or whatever the topic is really draws the student in. Exactly. So as I was saying, we do, you know, the, whether it's the organ systems or behavior, or all that sort of things, so all the things that you would typically find in a biology course are sort of condensed into a, a high interest, as you put it, uh, of course. So these are great to get kids interested in biology and to take the waters. I hope so. I've, I found that the middle school uh, students who take these courses are so enthusiastic. It's mm. um, it's really amazing. I mean, it's a little humbling. They're, they just, oh, every day they're so excited. And when we get to the end of the course, they're all, oh, no, it's not the end. <laughs> it's great. Oh, how fun. And I'm assuming that students who take these middle school biology courses actually do very well then in high school biology. I think they do. I've had a few students who have uh, gone from the middle school classes into the uh, some of the high school classes, and it really translates well. They, uh, they keep their enthusiasm, which is just what you want. That's, great. That's right. That's right. Tell us about the high school courses. This is a good segue into that. So the high school, uh, I teach two main high school courses, or three, I guess, including uh, what's what's upcoming. Um, I, too, I do honors biology, which is a two semester uh, with a lab add-on course using a college text. Mm. So that's a really high um, in, intense, uh, in, maybe high impact biology course yeah. uh, for students who are really interested, who are probably going to go into biology. And then astronomy and earth science on the high school level. Yeah. Let's talk about that honors biology first. For the student who's going into medicine or into any of the biological sciences or uh, sciences in general, this is a pre-college course, right? It is. It's a, it's a good head start. And mm. some of the students have taken CLEP exams or AP exams and gotten college credit, which is a really nice awesome. way to, to start. Whether you want to go into biology and then you could take the higher courses immediately, or whether you want to skip biology entirely when you get to college and study something else, it's a good way to do it. It's a powerful way to do it. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the other two high school courses, tell me about those more in depth. So um, astronomy is, um, you know, basically a semester of astrophysics. We start from being here in the solar system and we buzz on out to the very outskirts of the universe, which is a just a, an incredibly very big place, as I like to tell the students is so big. And earth science um, is a nice segue to that. So it's very specific to earth science, similar to the geology course that I teach for middle schoolers, but more advanced. More advanced. Awesome. These courses are really strong courses. They're very focused. They're, they give the students an upper edge in other courses, whether it's high school or beyond. I, and, I like to hope so, sure. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think too, it gives a really well-rounded understanding of so many pieces and parts of life. 
you know, we're talking the foundations of biology and the sciences. It, so, it really does, yeah. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about your background and what you bring to the table, a little bit about your education, your experiences that make you just a perfect fit to be teaching these courses. Sure. So when I was eight, um, I decided I wanted to be an astrophysicist. I, I was very, very excited about the space program, even though you know I was pretty young. And um, how many kids at eight decide they want to be an astrophysicist? Oh, no one right. decides that. I, I did actually, I had a, a friend in fifth grade who wanted to be a paleontologist and I thought that was a little weird. Um, and we actually were really good friends because right? we both had an interest in yeah. science. But when I got to college, I found that astrophysics was really impersonal. Mm. Um, a lot of numbers, a lot of you know time spent away from other people. So I switched to biology, uh, mm. which I found much more um, personable, much more uh, yeah. you know out, out and about with other people. Yeah. Just, kind of a different thing and right. I love biology so and then I took some graduate courses mainly in microscopy uh, so that's one of my favorite topics and then you've been teaching biology for quite some time and these topics out and about tell me about that sure um, I've been teaching uh, well actually when I when I left college uh, I worked at a medical lab which was a really good experience and I also worked for a consortium of public schools schools here on Long Island, and I, based, I was in the, um, the outdoor and environmental education department, so a lot of field trips, so I've basically been a field biologist for 30 years. That's and amazing. I translated that into my homeschooling uh, experience because I also homeschool my kids, and I do field trips for local homeschoolers and all that jazz. <laughs> What a perfect fit for a homeschooling family to come here and take your courses because not only do you have that education, that uh, years of teaching experience and the background of, of loving your subject and having a passion for your subject, but you're a homeschooling mom too. I, I am, and you know, it really it, it really keeps it fresh, I think, mm. um, you know, that I'm, I'm constantly out in the field and bringing my field experience back here and then the students at Homeschool Connections bring their experiences in and I can take some of those ideas and bring them back out into the field and back and forth. So there's always a great. connection. It's fabulous. I love it. It's well, great. tell us a little bit about something we may not learn or know from reading your bio in the catalog, course catalog at Homeschool Connections or just seeing your picture. What's a little window into who you are? Uh, I do have a, a love of Shakespeare and literature in general, but I know that's in the bio. Beyond that, um, I'm an amateur photographer, and um, it's a work in progress. I don't sell anything. I try to make my pictures better all the time, and I do put a, a, a huge number of the pictures that I take into my PowerPoint presentations for Homeschool Connections. Awesome. Um, so in ornithology... <laughs> Sure. So in You've ornithology, I take the bird pictures and I try to get the best ones. Um, and in the, you know, if I'm teaching invertebrate zoology, I like to get the spiders really close and, and all that. Sort How of fun. Yeah. How fun. Well, if a parent watching or student watching today wants more information about a course, we know they can go to the homeschoolconnections.com website, go to the catalogs, either the live course or recorded course catalog, because your courses are in both and find up more find out more information the write up the paragraph about the course but also week by week what's in every single week in the course but if a parent wants to maybe connect with you and see if a course is a perfect fit for their student i know they can reach out to homeschoolconnections at gmail.com and get a hold of you but is there a specific email that they can get direct direct access there's a nice easy one just by name no spaces all one word macbeth Darum at gmail.com Awesome. Well, thank you for taking time to just talk with us a little bit about your courses, a little bit about who you are. I love that you're teaching here. You obviously bring incredible experience and passion to these online classrooms. Thank you for being here. It's great fun. Thank you for having me, Erin. Absolutely.